Welcome back to Road to 56 as Ireland. So the Italians have been driven out of out of North Africa thanks to some construction work on my on my for myself just to get the supplies through. Okay. Brits and the Yanks. Uh, it's just the Brits are pushing into Iraq. Things haven't really changed much. And I've started building submarines. At the moment, I'm wait I'm just waiting for things to finish up so I can start researching being shock troops. There are a new breed of special forces added into this mod. Basically, their job is to either assault forts or cities. And you'll see that when I actually look at the focus tree for them. Doesn't have much of a buzz because the AI doesn't really bother with them much. But yeah, these are shock infantry. They have higher supply consumption and increased recovery time compared to the regular infantry. But they have a greater heart attack and breakthrough. So basically, you'd use them to assault to assault one particular line in an enemy formation, which is Kind of how I play on the offense as Ireland. I do have a limited bonus for this, and I could plus some extra technology sharing from the rest of the group. Might as well do this now, speed things up. Maybe I'll. Hell, maybe I'll actually go with mechanized infantry for once. I don't usually because they're expensive. Oh wow, look at that. Would you look at that? So yeah, we're probably not going to get very involved in the North African theatre, except maybe as a supporting role. But hey, it works. Uh, a bit. So building a naval base here to help get help supplies get in quicker. And then what I'll probably end up doing is building railways from from here to here, where there's a supply hub, and to here where there's also a supply hub, but I don't know why they didn't bother completing it. Let's see, can I change this to something? Not really, it doesn't make any difference. Just wonder if it was a design I'd prefer more. Icon, rather. So, yeah, you can see the second armored division from the French, Free France, has stalled due to lack of supplies. So if you are playing as a minor support nation, you have to keep building naval bases, railway infrastructure. That's pretty much what you're going to be doing if if you can if you can afford to. It's not it's not the most flashy thing, but it is the most reliable thing you can do to help.
more submarines going off to raid convoys. This is pretty much where this is pretty much the best place to do, do a convoy raiding if you're with the Allies. That's assuming, of course, that the that the Axis don't manage to get to capture Gibraltar, which they don't look like they're going to do this time around. I've done that in some games I've been. Basically, any convoy has to come through here. Or here, or here. And the very important railway to Esfax. There is an achievement in the base game to have a railway running all the way from Gibraltar to Singapore. I'm not going to even bother with that because I don't really do world conquests like that. Welcome back. Hmm, big chunk going to the UK, but it's all impassable. So, utterly useless. Not again. I don't really need this now, so I'm going to go with Relief of Command just so we get XP back. I mean, it'll pay for itself in the long run. Send in the Commando. Main reason I don't usually go with them um, mechanized, at least in the base game, is they come just too late and they don't provide enough benefit for me to do. But I'm going to be trying mechanized shock infantry. I go with so research speed wouldn't be bad the power loss would be annoying I'm gonna go with this for the extra stability because it's always worth having Could go with um destruction engineering now, but that's only the annoying thing is that doesn't apply to the to these military factions. Go with this now. Basically, I'm going to start stockpiling these um, light support guns for, for when we actually do start getting up infantry. Two hundred days.
And I'm going to quickly bump these up to the top because they're probably the most important thing. Just to try and get some extra coverage between these two places. Oh, good. We have superior tactician. I can just wait until I get until I get Sea Wolf. Straight for the 41 light. Probably not, so I'll leave that for a bit. Play 5 Panther. And. So, 3 man turrets. Arms close support gun. Advanced radio. White ammunition storage. Be good enough. See, what does actually get me? Okay, so it doesn't give me much breakthrough. Let's make it a light support, a uh, light tank. Because I don't really, it doesn't really cost much less, but... I only built the one anyway, so... Basically say that it was meant as a proof of concept. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Oh, another land naval invasion. You think they'd give up at some point, but no. That's unfortunate. Well, we got some construction, but construction out of it. So yeah, the extra, the economic capacity surplus there. That's from selling things. It always takes a while for these to um, switch over. Be conversion is the term I was looking for. All right, Ethna and Orla, you are going to go out in the fields. Make me proud, girls. Ah, and one is already moving to repair. Might as well infiltrate their administration just to see what they're up to. Who are going to move over here to try and keep an eye on the, on the hands of stats? Hmm. 
Hmm. Lone wolf or concealment expert. Lone wolf here, I think. Or actually, concealment experts. Lone wolf would be more useful for, say, a raiding navy, but the escorts are not for that. Ooh. If only I had those armored divisions now. Ah, oh, well. That's unexpected. So, Spain has mostly finished up dealing with their evils. I get this now, even though I probably won't need it. Go straight into small arms, 42. Maybe again. I can't remember if this actually increases the um in the in the base game researching mechanized infantry increases motorized infantry's hardness. I'm not sure if that's still the case in this. what that was about there this belgian people's republic why the nazis aren't trying to crush that as well So that's starting to pick along. Not much else I can really do here. Sunk one just well, USS Indianapolis sank that. We're just mostly providing anti submarine work to get the convoys out. Should have it. Uh, where was this grave? Uh, Ishi France. Well, Funan, I think he's pulled you out of the fire. Time for you to return the favor. Yeah, the Germans and Italians always seem to hold on to Oran very well. Probably because it's a Porsche with mountainous terrain.
Let's see now. If I can upgrade these planes just a little bit more. Heavy MG. Hmm. Nope, don't have the wake for that. Or possibly these for naval strikes. So that means that bomb marks won't be used on naval strikes because we just do the job better. Eh, really keep the keep it as it is for now. Canada wants to buy trucks. You know, the funny thing is, they actually apparently delivered, built more trucks than Italy, Japan, and Germany combined throughout World War II. Which doesn't sound exciting, but think of the impact that would have had on logistics. What to go with. See, I never got around to this, so I'm going to do it now. And I'll probably go with ground support, the most useful to me. This only applies to medium bombers? Well, of course, strategic bombing is no use to me anyway. Ground support, though, that's going to be useful. So put these guys back on training exercises. But this doesn't seem to have gone out. Because apparently they haven't researched the M3 Lee or the M2 light tank. Ah, get cap bird. Focus. Focus on Norway. Give that. Give them some support. I remember seeing them actually get liberated. Now I think about it. I have no idea what the hell is going on here. I suppose it's just German and Norwegian troops picking fights with each other while inside Sweden. Both have access. Nope. Don't care. Yeah, I don't know what the hell was going on here. Up troops. And I'm giving them armored support.
Hmm. So do I go with... Pusherized. I think I will. Gonna wait for this to get up. Or do I just go with Because how fast can these guys go? Yeah, I was aiming them at motorized, so... I'm going to start building these, and I am just going to call them Fomorian Infantry. Reference to a sci-fi slash alternate history series I have. We have one, so... Name. No, I don't have the tanks for this, but... They're going to be off in their own separate army. Still haven't gone to extensive conscription yet. Well, might as well do it now. We're taking a lot of damage here. It does, however, mean we're going to... Ooh, I think I lost a... a... Shit, we lost a destroyer. Not bother inside the Danish belts because that's just too close quarters. There's nothing up here on the Norwegian coast, so Eastern North Sea and Iberian coast. I know some sub convoys will get through, but Hoover. Still waiting for that because I really want them to be a sea wolf. Oh, they're targeting Munster now. Still decrypt. Using a lot of Norwegian ships here. Again. Losing a submarine and a destroyer for not. Please remember why I never actually bothered with that in the first place.
this is this is the really good one. Up here, cool down. It means we can just keep spamming torps at them. And again, concealment experts. Rolls. Anti submarine. Just make him a commerce rating specialist. I know we already have a an expert in um screen attack and Get this now. So this would give rocket launches for tanks, which... Or rocket rails, which are apparently quite good for close air support. Do you have anything to use it for? Force artillery because it's just too good not to have. Towards the end, it always turns into a bit of a slog here, trying to get to Casablanca. I'll put you back there, just so we can try and speed that up. It's probably not going to do it, but... Need to start pulling out of here. Hmm. Thanks for detection. That's always a good thing. Another Five of those, then put some more convoys. Oh yeah. There is no way we can redo really much to these guys. Absolutely nothing we could have done to help there. Maybe just maybe damage some of their submarines, but again, yeah, there is only so much we can do. Once I've got these foreign investors, I am going to go into construction engineering to just get our buildings back up. Get this stuff out quicker. We have a lot of it. Alright, we're losing to science.
They go with engineers because they add a bonus to attack and defense on forts and in urban environments. It's always going to be helpful. What I think about it is I should have double back and got this while I think I'll make them even better. What's the last auto save? All right, I think I'm gonna cut cause a day for now. See you in the next one. Bye for now.